Next we have the K9 block, and the K9 block is also modified. It's a minor modification. In the book here, we have the points going directly to the edge. These don't, and that's the only modification. It just changes the size of this center section. So your pieces will fit this one, not this one. Assembly-wise, we're going to assemble the middle and then frame it. We're going to treat this like a nine-patch block and then frame it with cornerstones and sashing and add the corners and then of course after the block is made we always put it in cornerstones and sashing so it's a big, like a square at a square effect. My pieces are over here and I have two separate arrows I have these arrows going up in the direction of the block these arrows I added when I was doing my block prep because my background is directional so it doesn't really matter that they're going opposite directions, just that these colors all go in the same direction and these colors go in the same direction is the big deal. So my directional background, there's a, a flower on there that I've fussy cut on the squares. So as long as it's the way it should be, and in this situation I've assigned it to that direction, then they're all in that direction and then we're good to go. I'm going to start by basting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to baste these one way, say sides and then top and bottom, and I'm going to baste these the other way, which would be top and bottom and then sides. So everyone that is a focus fabric is going to be one type of basting. And this and the background ones are going to be the other kind. What that does is it if it, it nests them a little better so you don't have folded edges against folded edges. You need to have primary edges against folded edges to get the best accuracy that you can. You're still attaching these three parts to a single part and so you're going to have to ease that in. But we'll get to that. So right now I'm going to baste and assemble my nine patch block in the center. So I've assembled these the center section into three different rows and so now I'm a matter, it's a matter of um, putting these together in a block and I'm going to make sure that I match up my seams to the other rows. And I've already got all of my fabrics, my directional fabrics, going the same way. I made sure of this as I went because as I basted it, it covered it up. It covered up my marks. So I wanted to make sure that these go the right direction and that all these go the same direction. So now I'm going to attach these and make sure that these line up in the middle here. So now I've got my middle all complete, and I will place that back where it's going to be. Now I'm going to assemble these, and what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to put cornerstones on one sashing. This will be loose, this will be loose, and then it'll be, so I'll form a row, and I'll attach these, and I'll put these three pieces together, and this three pieces together, and attach these to the square, and then I'll attach that completed unit to the top and bottom of that. So I've attached my outer bars on the center and once you base this you lose your direction so I had to make sure that my background was lining up correctly on these pieces. Now that I'm going to go and do this, I basted this little tiny uh, square and again you're going to lose your directional marking when you baste it. So what I noticed, I wanted to make sure that I knew whether the white or the brown was going to be up. And so in this case, it's going to be the white. But just pay attention to your directionals if you have directional fabric, because once you start basting these little pieces, then it becomes a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to base this and attach this in the right direction. And I'm going to make sure that this is lined up with that before I attach this. You can really start to mess up your directional fabric if you're not careful. So I'm going to attach this row and then I'll be able to attach it to the center portion. So I've got this connected and my corners line up with my squares in here and my background pieces line up with my background pieces in here. So I'm going to attach this and then I've got my other one to assemble as well. Okay, so I've got my nine patch assembled with my sashing and cornerstones for this piece. All of my 
focus fabric is the same direction and all of my background is the same direction. So the next step is to take, and I'm still making sure that my letters are the same way up because this is also focus fabric. So I'm going to take this, stick it back in here, and I'm going to pick two on, on uh, one side in a row and attach those and then I'll attach these two. My basting, I'm going to baste the legs of the triangle first and then the hypotenuse to make sure that the tags go away from this center section. So I've got two of the corner triangles attached. And my directional fabric is all correct with the rest of it. So I'm going to baste and attach the opposite corners now. Now that I've connected the other corners triangles, I now have a completed K9 block.